see who. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, collective. Welcome to Gemini Liongate. For I feel like this is like in the way. Welcome to Gemini Liongate for 888. My name is Jenna, and welcome to my channel. This is a channel where I channel messages from you guys to my guys by using diminution. I hope you guys can see me, because I know this is like at an angle. So, they're really pretty flowers, but they're like, they can't be all up in my grill. There we go. Much better. There we go. Much better. Um, I just want to thank everyone that's been viewing my channel, all the people that have been subscribing, your likes, your share, your comments. Um, thank you guys. I finally have 100 subscribers. <laughs> it's awesome. It's a goal for me. So, you know, baby steps. I don't know. Just thank you guys for helping me reach that goal. Um, thank you. So. welcome if you're or welcome back if you guys are returning okay thank you i hope the messages are helping you guys um and i hope that you know i hope you guys could just take something from every reading okay um but do keep in mind that these are um general readings so not every message not every you know video is going to be your reading however I always do believe, um, you know, just take any messages as a guidance for your spiritual journey, for your spiritual growth. Um, but keep in mind that energy is past, present, and future. Use your intuition. Um, I trust your intuition, so please trust your own. No, you are not crazy. You are right. I'll tell you that right now, okay? <laughs> um... If, uh, dang it. I'm actually wearing Albanoni right now. My Albanoni necklace. My Divine Feminines. Albano, Albanoni and um, pearls are great to always wear, and opals, okay? Just to give you guys, it's always good to wear those. Um, I'm actually, or I just, I'm um, going to get a pearl ankle bracelet. Um, yeah, it's always good if you're Mind Divine Feminines, you know, try to keep yourself surrounded with flowers and, you know, pearls, jewelry. It makes you feel, it brings out that feminine side of you, okay? Um, also, this reading could also be about you or someone that is directly or even indirectly involved in your energy, like a third-party situation. And it could mean like a third-party friend, third-party, it doesn't have to be automatically a third-party. Um, you know what I'm trying to say. I got my dice. I got my dice. I'm excited. Um, I am an angel reader, so I pick an angel of the week. And yesterday we, um, in honor of, in honor of, um, Archangel, why am I having a, Rael, okay, Rael or Rael, um, we're going to set boundaries this week. Okay. And so it was a seven of wands that came because I, I picked the angel by using these um, tarot cards. Um, so it was a seven of wands. So yesterday I, I picked the angel of the week and it's by heel. Hold on. V E H V heel V heel. So like my last name is V heel. So V heel. <laughs> you that's all i'm gonna remember it the, um the, um she passed on the torch this week to this archangel or angel v hill um out and it's coming out as the eight of wands 
So I think it was interesting because it went from the seven of wands to the eight of wands. So last week is all about protection. This week is about things are some, things are going to be speeding up messages, right? The eight of wands really represent um, energy. That's why the tarot cards is just nothing but wands are flowing out because it's just, and there's like the only tarot card out of the, all the deck that doesn't have an animal, doesn't have anything else. It's just wands flying out because it's really representing something to be speeding up this week for you guys. Now that we went from the king of wands, right? You guys are stepping into your power. That was Archangel Dan Daniel. You guys are stepping into your power. You guys are becoming public speakers or you guys are becoming, you know, more confident in speaking in front of others. Maybe some of you guys want to start YouTube channels or maybe you guys want to start speaking about your spirituality or how to be spiritual or how to heal. Maybe some of you guys want to become healers. Then the seven of wands, right? You guys are throwing those staffs down, protecting it, standing up for yourself, standing up for what you believe standing firm in what you believe and making sure no one else is going to persuade you any different defense right defending not but defending your energy while you're in this um now now that you're in this king of wands right and that was archangel um rail now this week is archangel v hell v v hell v hell v hall v hall v hall i want to say v hell but v hall and so things, something now it's now it's let's move. It's it's about progression. It's about moving. That's what the that's why the eight ones really move. It's about moving energy. Some of you guys might be getting some type of message from whatever. Take it how it resonate again. You guys got to place it where you need to place it for your situation. We all have a familiar story, not a similar story. However, just don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Um, this is angel number 49. I gotta get a new cinnamon stick. That's gonna burn my finger. Um... Archangel Michael, I do ask if you protect my energy during this reading. Any negative projection, heavy projection, word curses, black magic, witchcraft, hexes, curses, I ask um, you send that back to sender where it belongs. As well, protect the collective's energy and the view or whoever is viewing this right now while we get this reading done. Got to make sure my microphone is on. I bless these dice, Holy Spirit, my archangels, my ancestors. So, V Hall, V Hall. I want to keep saying V Hill, but Archangel V. This is a, a an a masculine angel, a male angel. I don't know. Like, I hate saying he or she because, like, to me, angels don't are neither or. But I feel like they have, like, a feminine energy. Like, so last week it was, like, it was a feminine It was, like, a feminine, right? Like, an angel in their feminine side. It was real soft. I always, like, feel it's okay to, um, I try to, I'll tell you guys how to connect with these angels. Um, if I feel like you guys shouldn't be, because sometimes... You need to be very spiritually uh, evaluated, I guess you could say, elevated. Well, this is what this angel actually does, is about elevation, um, to work with angels. But this week is definitely okay to be working with this angel, because um, it says, Angel 49, about V Hall, V Hill, V, v Hell, V Hall, V Hill, V Hill. I want to say V Hill. V Hall. V Hall. Service is the greatest of source of elevation. V Hall is the angel of elevation. He helps us he helps us to develop true detachment from matter while understanding its role in elevation of our souls. He teaches us the service is the greatest source of elevation. 
Elevation is the greatness and the wisdom of God. You know what books I've been reading, and I feel like this might help you guys, is um, Know Thyself. I can't remember. It's by... I'll, I don't know. I haven't been praying for it, but I'll get the book next time when we read. I feel like this is a book that you guys can actually really help you guys. It's helping me elevate my spiritual, my consciousness, my self awareness of things in life. The ability to access parallel worlds to make contact with the inhibited. I don't know what that means, or with deceased persons. This could be like some of you guys could like be clairvoyance where you guys um like speak to you know the dead or i'm assuming things that are like not of this world um this uh angel really will help you practice meditation visualize and mantra recitations exhalation or exhalations or glorifications of the divine illumination detachment from matter elevation by service so of course if you guys are helping others okay i got some new tarot cards um altruism diplomat yeah this is an angel that like some of you guys might be like very diplomatic very good with the law like, have you, like, even if you don't work at, in, like, maybe you're not a lawyer or something, maybe you wanted to be a lawyer as a kid, but you're a type of person where, like, you know the law. Like, you know the law. Like, you're not someone that gets intimidated by the law. Like, if you get in trouble or if the courts come to you, like, you'll look things up. You'll look at what legislations or what rules or, you know. Like, if you know someone's breaking the law and no one else is saying it, you'll go look it up and you say, well, it's not a, it might not be a state law, but it's a federal law. You know, you'll, you're that type of person. If you get that because of this angel. This is, I'll tell you what, like, this is definitely, what is it? Not Leo, but, um, is it Virgo? No, Scorpio's angel. Okay. It is related to great key figures. Yeah, see, some of you guys are really supposed to be like a good public speaker. You guys are supposed to be in the public eye or at least in your community or your network, your friend group, okay? Develops the seeds of human thoughts, sensitivity and generous mentality. Yes, this is an angel that protects those that are very, and this is why you guys are, get your sensitivity. If you are sensitive, some of you guys are empaths. I'm assuming if you guys could speak to the dead, you guys are empathic. Maybe some of you guys dream of past loved ones. I know that's like a gift that my mom has. Like she dreams of like her mother a lot and that's how she connects with her still. The, her, my grandma that passed away. I don't, I don't dream of, but I don't do that. I don't, I don't have that gift. I don't dream of past loved ones. Altruism, diplomatic. I do dream of angels though. I, I dream of my, my daughter that passed away and she's an angel. She's not a past loved one. Like she's, it was crazy because she comes to me. I lost her when she was five weeks old. And when she comes to me in dreams, she comes to me as a, like a girl, like a young girl. Free us from the grip of instinctive desires, feeling of fraternity, friend, um, being like a hum humanity aid, right? Aspirations to what is elevated, a great writer, great dedication to others. It's really about this angel is helping you guys really tap into, okay, now you guys know what you want to be, what creative, what... Now, how can you guys help others? How can you guys use your creative ideas, your public speaking, your talents, your God gifts, your what God gave you, right? Your gifts. Because if you're an earth angel, star seed, part of the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine, you are gifted in some way. If you don't feel like that, then I'm sorry you don't feel like that. You need to start feeling like that, okay? Difficulty rising. Okay, this is like for people that are have human like low vibrational people this is how this angel will come out difficulty raising or manifesting wisdom okay 
complex of inferiority or superiority. So someone that thinks that they're inferior or superior than others. I don't understand this. Anyone that is stream, spiritual extremist or a lack of spirituality. So I get the lack of spirituality, but I guess if someone is like spiritual extremist, like I guess if that somebody is like thinking that they're better than other people or I have to look that up, does not meditate. So if someone does not meditate, anyone that's an atheism, anyone that doesn't believe in God, Anyone that has any enslavement to material desires, anyone that is selfish, hypocritical, lack of principle, someone that opposes feeling of fran fraternity, I need to see what that is, a cr like a crit critical writer, so like someone like on Facebook that constantly criticizes people, or if it's like a Facebook group that just judges people and this is an angel that will come out and fix that, or, you know, do what they have to do, what the divine has to do person who has negative influences. Yeah. Someone that writes like, like bullies people on social media to influence other people to bully other people. No, 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 no. Cause we live in a time of technology. So I, I'm getting like, if anyone is like attacking you guys on social media, yeah, this is definitely an angel that's going to come and fix that. Someone that has passion, hate, hatred for passion. Someone that has a lot of hate. And I, like there is someone, some that comes out of your guys' energy where they do feel like they probably don't look it, but if you could see it, like their energy, the way probably like if another empath person could see their energy or maybe how you see their energy, but like a normal person would cannot imagine the hate that some of these people that come out in these readings that they have, or maybe these people are watching me. I don't know. Fear of matter. If you're born on, um, I remember when you guys are. Yeah, so November, like 22nd to the 27th. This is his sigil. gonna put it in the candle it's a dot and it's a whoop looks like a Z and a hook there that's his angel symbol right here right there and you guys could look this up if you guys want to get connected to this angel, okay? All right. Okay. V v Hall. V Hall. I do ask. If you come out and help me this week through my readings for the collective, what messages do you have, have for the collective? Use my, my light to guide those using my tarot cards, my pendulums to give us clarification, whatever that is hidden, something that they can't see or clarification that things that they just want to know or get a clarification on. Look how cool these dice are. They have like a little, I don't know, glitter in them or like sand. It's really cool. I, I never worked with, I've always worked with like these kind of dice. So I don't under, I need to look this, I need to really study. I don't know what the different, why they're different. Um, I kind of, Figure the 40, 60, 90, 10 degrees. That could be like your fourth house watch. I'll get into it. But let's pray. Frantity. What is frantity? 
I wanted to look that up. Um, v Hall, Principality of Love, help make us, um, help our aspirations learn towards, lean towards that which is worthy and noble, towards all that is worthy of your holy name. Allow us, Angel V, V Hall, V Hall, to guide all the creatures in our presence towards us. Let us make them smell in our breath the angelic scent of your transcendent, trans, 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 I can't say it. Transgensons. I can't, why can't I say it? You know what I mean, Archangel Vahal. Guide my steps, transcends, I can't say it. Guide my steps towards the high mountains, but never towards the low valleys. Host us up to the unreachable peaks beyond the clouds towards the pure ether of the vault of heaven, Valhal. That's what I keep wanting to say. Anyways, hold on. Make your attributes, gifts, and power powers shine with me not to decorate our vanity but to bear witness here down below to our radiant pr presence amen because isn't valhall or v v v, v valhall is like a viking heaven isn't it so is v hell v hell v hell v hell I ask for your divine guidance. I invoke your divine presence. Please let me know if you are here. Archangel, be hell. Be hell. Please let me know that you're here. Can you give me a bigger clarification that you're here? Can I get a big yes? As big as you can make this pendulum go up and down, please. I need to know if you're divine. I ask. Turn. I am trying to help those. I'm trying to help those and myself find serenity and peace. Archangel V Hill, V Hell, V Hell, are you here? He's here. I was kind of hoping the pendulum would get, it's getting bigger. Ancestors, Holy Spirit, is there any evil spirits or trickster demons or any entities that could be affecting this pendulum? Give me a yes or no. There's any, oh, that was going to say yes. Is there any trickster or evil spirits? Okay, am I speaking to you or is Archangel? V hell in my presence. Thank you. Okay, let's get on with the reading. Let's roll the dice. Thank you. Let's see what kind of crystals. So flowers or crystals around your altar is a coraline. 
Corlin. That is a, I think I actually have that. No, I do. I have. Look, I do have it now. I got someone I went. Cool. And then I have a. You know what? I found this the other day. I forgot I had this. This is crazy. I This is like a weird opal, but I think it's a petrified opal. It is so crazy. And then in the middle of it, it like, it was like a bone. Like, I'm going to have to show you guys this. I don't know why this came up. Maybe someone could tell me what this is because my it's actually what my ex is his stone and he didn't know what it was either. But let me see if I can show you guys. You guys know what stone this is, okay? It's crazy, so I don't know if you can see it. There we go. If you're good with rocks, I would like to know. So see how it's like, it's like, it looks like it's opalized or like it, because it has like that opal, but look in the middle of it. It's like a red mineral. And that's the top of it. And it feels like it's petrified wood. Can things like, can petrified and opal happen together? I don't know. That'd be crazy. Let me know if you know what that is. If you're good with stones. I don't know why I felt like we need to do that. Um, here's some quartz. Um... I used to have, what is that? That's an orange. It's part of a desert. Got my Amazonite. It's just quartz. Got Japs Jasper. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, I think I'm ready. I think he's here. I think you meditated. Sorry, like always the first, like when I first start evoking these angels, it's always, I know these readings get long, but I just, I wait, I just want to make sure that they're here, you know? Like I'm not just want to be up here bullshitting you guys. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm an angel reader. And like, just, you know, I want to be able to really, connect with these angels so okay okay zero I got zero twelve one two And nothing. I wonder what that means. I'm going to have to read. And then six. Or 11. 
So zero or 80. I see 80 actually. Someone could be born in 80. Someone could be 40. Someone could be like in there. Um, cause you know, what is it? Let me see here though. Let me see. Like say the first house, the second house, the 12th house and the 11th house. I'm even seeing I see 12, 12, look, one, two, one, okay, one, two, 12, so 12, 12 might be significant, that could be someone's, I don't know why I'm thinking this, is that your, like, pin to something, like your debit pin, or angel number, 12, 12. It's a sign that you have worked hard and reached a crucial point in your process, but there is still more to go. So watch, let me see here. Astrology, right? So let me go to the 12th house. What is it? 40 degrees. So, okay, so yeah, see the critical points, the first and final degrees of the sign, right? The degrees of fate, the final degree is 29 degrees, is often giving a negative spin. D40, very important chart. So this, you could be a Pisces or there's a Pisces involved. The 12th house, 40 points in the Asuka scores third. What is significant of the Ash? The very score 40 in the third house of, I don't know, I'm going to have to learn this. So I'm going to learn this on my own. But I could tell you right now, I got the first house, the second house, the 12th house, and the 11th house. So I got Aquarius, uh, Aries. Taurus, Pisces, this could be about like your personality or the house. If you're like, you don't have to be in Aries, you can have Aries in your chart. Okay. Um, but this is definitely about who you are, right? Your ego, your personality, what is driving you. You can be real original and authentic. And your second house is talking about like your material gains, material possessions. But there's something hidden here. Hidden information. Some of you guys really are intuitive. Maybe you guys um, know like things are like, you're, like your second house is going to be secure. This could be with a, uh, Aquarius energy, a group of friends, a social group. Maybe you don't see this coming, like a soul tribe coming. Um, 13 is what again? Is the sun, isn't it? Yeah, it's the sun. Yeah, like, so the sun energy, right? Because the, the 13th house. And something about your ego. Or something about your personality. It might be attracting, like, either something about your personality is what makes your second house secure. Like, 
you could be confident or you just know that you'll find a job or when you work in a job or when you, cause the second house talks about material possessions, right? And that's always to me like money. It might be attracting you to some type of material gain here. This it could be also being tracking like a group of friends. Yeah. The 11th and the 13th house right there. It's like something about your personality and the 12th house is like, this is hidden or there's something hidden here, or you just know hidden information and you're attracting people because of that. Someone needs to put lotion on because every time I do some of these readings, I put lotion on a lot. I don't like being, uh, yeah, I don't like being dry <laughs> at all. In fact, it's crazy. Um, I knew somebody and she had this really cool, speaking of astrology, she had this really cool astrology book and the zodiac sign. And she read like, you know, cause I'm, uh, even though I'm a Gemini, like all my different, whatever, like, and it says something that I like to moisturize my, my hands and my feet. And I'm like, that's so weird. Cause I do that. Like I was always a person that would take, you know, I'm the person that brings lotion to work and shit. I don't like being dry at all. First house, second house, 11th house. There could be. I'm not, what's this first house? You could be Aries, or that could be your North Node. That could be your Moon Rising, or I could be. There could be an Aries in your energy. First house to the second house. What is this? One, two, twelve, twelve. Three of Hearts. This could be bringing you a group of friends. Yeah, look, the 11th house. This is bringing you a group of friends because of your personality. What's this 11th house? The two of hearts. Look at three hearts to the two of hearts. But what's this 12th house? Like Pisces energy, things that are unknown. You can be really intuitive. A group of friends can notice this about you or a group of people like this about you or they will. The six of diamonds. They might offer you a gift. They might offer you something here. An opportunity, a chance. Three of hearts. So weird. I feel this, like, I know this angel's here, but it's very quiet. Like, observing, maybe? Like, I feel like things just, slow, like, I feel like I'm being really slow. Like, I feel like this reading is going to be really long. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I feel like I'm taking forever. I'm sorry, guys. Or so it's like the energy is slowing down or something. It's, it's weird. can't really describe it. Like I'm doing like step by step by step. Usually I'm already shoveling these cards and I feel like I'm faster than this, but oh. three of hearts means success for creative endeavors, right? If you decide to redecorate your home or write a sympathy or sympathy, why can't I talk or do something else that requires creativity? You are likely to reach good results in a broader sense. The three of hearts is a sign for a happy outcome in any business or love affair. 
So, yeah. Again, if you have Aries in your chart, you again, this is something you're doing on your own, especially with the first house. Like, you are doing something definitely on your own. Um, definitely, um, no one else is probably, even if you're doing something that other people are doing it, you're doing it your own way. It's something that you're doing. Like it could be as simple as you being at work, right? Say like you work at an office and you guys all do the same thing, but the way you do your work, the way you get your job done, the way you handle things at your job, sorry. Um, it's unique. It's different. It's I just have to feel like I have to my throat chakra because I can't pronounce shit. <laughs> um this is why it's gonna bring you a lot of success. My friend. Will you be full of creative ideas? 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 Yes or no? Will you be full of creative ideas? Yeah, I think you guys are. The fact that you guys are so creative and original, again, you guys, I don't, like, if you apply this at your job, if you, if you feel like you're not creative or if you're just, like, not, like, special, then I don't know what to tell you. I feel like someone here is trying to really dispute what I'm trying to say. I don't know why. I'm just thinking that in my head. I feel like someone here is really trying to say, well, this isn't my reading because I'm not creative. Yes, you are. If you're part of the collective, you are creative. You have a gift. I promise you. You just got to figure out what it is. Like you could be someone that decorates your, your, your office, your cubicle all different and cool and everyone likes to go visit you in your cubicle because you're unique it doesn't you are yes if you are in this first house three of hearts energy but we'll see yes or no i don't know why i'm thinking someone is trying to yes or no the three hearts oh these cards are hard to shuffle these are new too They're like very hard to shuffle. <laughs> I thought these were like Zodi. I don't know what I was thinking, but they actually are pretty cool cards. Okay, yes or no? Yes or no on the three of hearts? Yes or no? The three of hearts to the three of swords. Look. I feel like someone here, or look at the three of cups to the three of swords. And look at that heart right there. Someone here really, because the answer is no, but I'll make sure what the three, but it's like someone is around you either they don't want you guys to feel like you guys will be full of creative ideas or someone is heartbroken that you guys have creative ideas or someone is watching this and they're just so heartbroken right now where or you're going through a breakup where you don't feel very creative right now which is okay it's understandable okay i just want you to know though you are special and I'm not just saying this to bullshit or to get views or likes or shares. I'm telling you this because you are fucking special. Okay. You are a human being. If you are going through this heartache, this pain, I am sorry you're going through that, 
But if you are a good fucking person, you're a good person. And if you're part of the collective, you are talented and you are gifted. I believe in you. And I'm a complete stranger. You just have to believe in yourself, okay? I swear someone may be watching this. Not all of you guys. I know not all of you guys feel like that. So, the answer is yes. I didn't know that. So, the three of swords is a yes. Because you're embracing a journey. Let your heart guide the way. Look at this. Look at the ace of hearts, right? Hold on, the ace of hearts is a, no, no, no. Three of hearts is a yes, okay? Two of hearts is a yes, too. But it's like, you could have started something out of a breakup or like you're going through a breakup. So maybe like if you guys are going through a breakup right now or you guys went through a breakup in the past or if you guys go through a breakup in the future, it's going to actually, something good is going to come out of it. Like, again, if this is past energy, some of you guys could have got your heart broken, but that's when you started becoming, you're like, well, I'm going to do this. Like, I did that. For example, I'll talk about me. I started my YouTube channel because I was going through a terrible breakup. I was going through a lot of heartache and pain because the three of swords is on the upright. It's not, you know, three, three could be significant. It's something that could have happened when you were 33 or you are 33. Or you're a master number 33. Again, some of you guys are very intuitive. You guys are... Even though this... It's like, yes. Some of you guys might even be very somber. But you guys are still creative. Maybe this is what's driving this creative ideas. This is what drove you to be creative. Or will drive you guys to be creative. Okay? What's this through your heart and creativity? Yeah, some of you guys could have really got really creative or got your creative ideas after a breakup. What's this through your hearts? Yeah, these cards are so new. The Hermit. Yeah, you are isolated right now. You are on your quest. See, you're meditating here. You're on your spiritual journey. You're finding spiritual lightning. And yeah, a king of cups in reverse broke your heart. Or this is a king of cups that's on this journey here. Okay, for some of you guys, a king of cups in reverse. So it could have been a water sign or your water sign or someone, a cancer. There's a lion in this one. This is really interesting. Maybe a Leo, a cancer Leo, Leo cancer. Look, there's a lion in that one. It says King of Cups, right? Yeah, this is a King of Cups. But he's in reverse. So someone is very empathetic. Very, like, they don't understand their emotions. Is this King of Cups the one that's going through a breakup? For some of you guys, it's this King of Cups. He's going through a break in reverse. He's going through a breakup. I don't know what I just did with my pendulum. Is the King of Cups in reverse going through a breakup? No, it's this, it's this guy. He's the one that broke your heart. He's the one that, um, yeah, this King of Cups, you were with someone that just was not like nurturing to you, that wasn't loving, that didn't, well, it's because this person didn't understand his emotions. So he, he could have become very emotionally manipulative because the King of Cups in reverse tells me it's a distorted masculine that, or he's older, right? But he's someone that probably has never expressed his emotions, 
felt emotions. He probably is a cancer. He probably keeps his emotions just real tight inside of him, right? In his shell. And the fact that he did that, he never told you how much he like had feelings for you, but you are very isolated from this person. You're very enlightened here. The hermit, Virgo energy, right? You're cleansing your energy. You could be teaching this person as well. This person could be learning things off of your creative ideas. Just take it how it resonates. And it's because maybe you understand what heartache is. It's like you do very, it's like you get your creative, like the, your, this is crazy for some of you. I don't know, but some of you guys are like, you guys do your best. You guys get your best, I you get more creative. You guys you really reach and see what your talents are when you're going through a lot of heartache. And this is why you guys reach this knowledge. You guys discover your true self. You're on a soul journey. You're on a soul quest using your creative ideas. And you're very isolated from this person. Very interesting. That's it's it's not what like yeah, it's crazy. I mean, hey. It's that energy or that feeling of there's no other way but up, right? If like there if you're so down and out, like there's no other way besides to see the light in it. You know? You guys really had to isolate yourself from others to meditate on the answers of this, these creative ideas. Yeah, two of hearts symbolizes love and passion between two hearts. If you found your love already, you are lucky. If you're still looking for it, the two of hearts is here to dispel your doubts. Indeed, there is someone special for you in this world. Keep looking and you'll find your soulmate. Oh, are you going to meet your soulmate? Yeah, some of you guys could be like feeling, yeah, kind of like not confident enough right now about it because he went through this king, king of cups in reverse, these distorted masculines that just weren't understanding of their emotions, that didn't understand how to express emotions, attach from their emotions, you know, very empathetic. He wasn't ruthless. He could have just been like very just like. This is someone that really wanted to tell you that how much he cared for you, but he couldn't. He didn't. Or he won't. He knows that you are very enlightened by your creative ideas. Is the collective, is this a yes or no on this two of hearts? Yes or no on the two of hearts. Yes or no on the two of hearts. Give me one card. Yes or no on the two of hearts, please. Yes or no on the two of hearts. Yes or no on the two of hearts. Queen of swords. Yeah, you are my queen of swords. <laughs> I cannot make it up. Look, you could be a Libra or you could be uh, an air sign. Okay. But the answer is yes. If I'm talking to a masculine here, if I'm talking to this king of cups, if you want to know if a queen of swords, a, someone that's an air sign or someone that's been through a lot of shit, um, it's like a woman here and she has her horse and her horse's head is like, you know, she's in her power. She's like, I don't know if you guys can see that card, but yes, she is your soulmate. She's really intelligent. She is, this is what I'm saying. This queen of swords, or this is you collective. This is a woman that does her best because she, you could have went through three nasty breakups through your life. Like through your, like three, you have three swords in your heart, but that's what really makes you, you, you know, that's what makes you so smart. That's what makes you so intelligent. You're very loyal. You're very honest and you speak the truth. 
you're a true speaker. And yes, you want, it's bringing you a soulmate now that you're in this queen of swords energy. Now that you get your creative ideas, um, being heartbroken, I feel like that's, that's actually pretty cool because I mean, it's better than like other people, like, you know, they go through breakups and heartache and it's a, you know, it's like you, this, this queen of swords, whoever this person is, or this is you, it's like, this is a person that really uses their intelligence. They're really smart. They have control of their emotions as well. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Cause they've been like through so many breakups. This person is on their, their quest of finding a soulmate and yeah, they're going to find it. <clears throat> For some of you guys, I'm also reading this, this King of Cups in reverse is this Queen of Swords soulmate. <clears throat> this Cancer Leo, this person that does not know how to express his emotions. What's this Queen of Swords and the soulmate? This two of hearts. Yes, Queen of Swords, you will find a soulmate. Yes, Queen of Swords, two of hearts. Yes, Queen of Swords, two of hearts. Some of you guys like to go horseback riding. Or you have a horse that you like to ride. Will of Fortune. I'm liking this now. Will of Fortune. Yeah, luck is on your side. The will is turning in your favor. It's bringing, and this will is bringing you a soulmate. A soul connection. With the second house being right there, it's like whatever you are doing or whatever you will be doing out of this breakup, it's like you need to thank this King of Cups in reverse. For some of you guys, you need to thank your ops. You need to thank those masculines, those distorted masculines that broke your heart because it's like it's bringing you nothing but luck and prosperity and abundance and a new soulmate. I just saw the eight of wands. What's this will of fortune? What's this will of fortune? Queen of swords. Yes, you're going to have a lot of luck and abundance here. Virgo, Aquarius. You could be a Aquarius, just one, please. You could be definitely an Aquarius, a fixed sign, right? You could like to ride horses or something. If you went through, it's like, you don't let breakups or heartache really influence your creative ideas. In fact, that's what makes you more creative is your pain. You could be an artist. Like, you know, how artists are like that, like a, you know, poet or something or a painter. Like you, you, that's what the queen of swords really is. It's like there's someone that's been through so much shit in their life that they, they know what it's like and they're so smart and they use it. I cannot make it up. The lovers. <laughs> Gemini's energy. You could be, a, look at, I cannot make this up. Look at the lovers and will of fortune for the queen of swords. I cannot make that shit up. Yes, you will find your soulmate. The answer is yes. You are going to get into a soulmate connection, Queen of Swords. You could definitely be Aquarius or an Earth, uh, Gemini. You will have luck and abundance. The, the will is turning in your favor and is bringing you a lover. The lovers. <laughs> a rainbow. Look at you and a masculine are going to be kissing each other like that. Yeah. It says I cannot make that up. That's, I like that. That's dope. I like the, where this reading is going. Someone really feels like you're hidden from them or they can't get a hold of you or I don't know why I'm hearing that. But someone really regrets like not talking to you or unfriending you guys. Like, you guys could have just recently, like, really, like, I don't know what that is. The Six of Diamond means confusion, right? Some believe it signifies presence. Others think it means absence. Yet others are convinced it's a good business omen. Nobody is right or wrong. The Six of Diamond is a sign that you might be misled or confused. Check again and try to find the right direction. Confused, diffusion, 
Will it ever make sense? Yeah, see, something with the 12th house, Pisces. You got to use your intuition here when it comes to, yeah, the wheel's turning in your favor. A lover, a romance, a new, a soulmate connection, the two of hearts. What's this six of, okay, yes or no on this, um, yes or no on this, uh, yes or no for the six of diamonds, yes or no? Is the collective confused? Are they being misled? Yes or no? Or is there soulmate? Someone could be really be marrying your energy here. For some of you guys, this could be a, I hate to say it, this could be your twin flame. I don't know why. Well, because whoever this King of Cups is in reverse, yeah. He, this could be, okay, hold on. The high priestess. <laughs> Come on, their spirit. Look. If you are confused or misled, well, it doesn't matter. You you see things. I told you the 12th house, high priestess, Pisces, Taurus energy. You are highly intuitive. You use your intuition. So if you are misled, you will use your intuition. Come on through, spirit. When it comes to one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, yeah. Look. You are not confused or misled about anything from your past. Like if you're wondering about something in, that happened in your past or past memories, you are not confused about it. Even if someone is trying to mislead you about your past, you're, you're a high priestess. You use your intuition. You, you meditate on the answers. You get spiritual ancestral answers, like answers about past energy here. What's this past? The six of, or someone has loving past memories about you, or this is a past soulmate. With the six of, of cups and the lovers, holy shit, that's coming in hot. What's this six of cups? High priestess. You could be into tarot cards, or you're a healer, or you're very, like, not witchy, but Someone finds you really, like, seductive or, like, they like that about you. Like, they're like, ooh, I don't know. Like, something about you being um, into the astral arts or the one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of cups. Look at three, three, six, six. You will have victory and success. You will have a win here. And look, it's being guarded. Like, I don't know if you guys can see these. Because, like, the silhouettes. Let me show you. Okay. See? See that angel right there? You guys will have victory and success in love and romance like this is going to be um a successful relationship this is going to and verse uh, yeah no you are not like even though the high priest says i think it's an answer yes are you being misguided are you being misleaded if it's a yes it doesn't matter you have the high priestess you'll use your intuition when it comes to past memories um, past situations, past, um, your past success. You could even use your past success to help you guide you through any type of confusion. That is so cool. That is so cool. Will of fortune and the lovers. Yes. I mean, you in this love relationship, it's like, it's going to bring you a lot of abundance. And I'm not just talking about material wealth for, yeah, it's material wealth, but it's also like a energy of like, it's bringing you, um, like a fulfilled life money. You guys might have enough money to travel like the world. I 
I like this. I like this. Okay, so yeah, a soulmate. Yeah, you got a soulmate coming. I don't know who this King of Cups in reverse is. I don't know what that deal is. Um, if he's being confused or misled, he could be using his intuition. Um, let's see. I have these. Um, I'll read these at the end. These are new. Those are funny. Those inner, uh, inner effing fucking peace cards. But let's see. I have these new Oracle cards too. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Archangels. What other messages do we have here? These are called the broken. I know some of you guys like to know what these things are. So these new tarot cards I got are called uh, Zoo, Zoo de K, Zoo de K, the new world of tarot. And it's actually, they're like really cool. They're like silhouettes of people or images. Um, it even comes with a book, I believe. I don't know what I did with the book. Yeah. Like, let me read the Queen of Swords. What does it say for the Queen of Swords? So, Five of Swords, Ace of Swords. This card represents both the nurturing and giving side of a motherhood and the independent success oriented nature of the self made woman. The Queen of Pentacles is both the Quincent Earth mother who nurtures both home and earth. However, she is also a shrewd businesswoman who achieves. Oh, that's Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> My bad. I was like, what? King of Cups? Let's read that King of Cups. Hold on. Nine of Cups, Four of Cups, Ace of Cups, King. What the hell are those? Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. Why does it go to the King of Swords and Queen of Swords? You are discerning and want to learn. You are seeking out information and remaining very independent from your emotions. Be wary of completely disassociating from your internal world. That's a message for some of you guys out there being in that uh, Queen of Cups energy. Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, Nine of Wands, Six of Wands. Ten of Wands. They go backwards. Four of Wands. Ace of Wands. So the King of Cups will be right here. Yeah, here he is. The King of Cups is an individual who is a strong leader. John the King of Cups kids suggests that you're handling your emotion. If you're referring to a specific person in your life, take heed. This person approaches emotions from an intellectual perspective but may feel them deeply and often avoids situations where personal emotions will ruin run high yeah see if this but this came out in reverse this person really does not want to king cups individual who is strong leader because he weighs the needs of both his kingdom and his people they're often a peacemaker this person yeah i know he's but this King of Cups, I could feel like can be like that, but he doesn't, he's not. Maybe there is a connection between you and a, and a water sign or a masculine energy that, I mean, he really did not want to tell you guys anything because I feel like he, like the emotions he had for you, like you could have been in that Queen of Swords energy and you could have been very detached or just, you know, using your smarts when it came to him and so maybe it kind of threw off his energy you know maybe he sees that you're just working really hard on your like your creative ideas and you know you could be a single mom this person probably knows you've been through a lot some of you guys this king of cups um in reverse he actually witnessed you go through a breakup and he just was, you know, using his head. And he's like, I don't know. Holy Spirit, Archangels, what's going on right now? What's going on in the collector's energy right now? Give me a present. There you go. What's going on with the collector's energy right now? Netflix and chill. Sneaking around. 
friends with benefits, spending time with someone else. Ooh. So someone is sneaking around friends with benefits, spending time with someone else. Okay, for some of you guys, if you guys are single, you guys could be, you know, Netflix and chilling with people watching Harry Potter. You could be chilling with a, a person that you just, there's not a label on there. You guys are spending time with someone else. Sneaking around friends with benefits. Spending time with someone else. Now, I don't know what this is about. I don't know if this, if you guys are in a relationship, that might not be a good sign. Okay. Um, so just, again, you have, depending, what's this Netflix and chill? Or maybe someone just wants to Netflix and chill with you. Um, maybe someone might invite you over and say, hey, let's watch a movie together. Why not? What's this Netflix and chill? Two pentacles. This person, um, no, there's someone here juggling here. So I, I never read the two of pentacles like that, but I'm going to read it like that this time. Someone is really juggling somebody here. Well, it's not that they're juggling a person here. The two of pentacles on the upright is that they're like trying, they're managing their life, right? They might have, this could be someone that's, this could be you. You could be Maybe you're not ready for a soulmate connection. Maybe you're like, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to take care of my son. I got to take care of my daughter. I got to take care of the kids. I got to work. I got to take care of my parents, you know, but Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm down to Netflix and chill with you. Maybe. <laughs> What's this? Yeah. Cause you're in this energy of juggling a lot of things right now. Is it like that? What's this two of pentacles? And Netflix and chill. What's this two of pentacles? What's it? What's they? What's this juggling? What's this two of pentacles? What's this two of pentacles? The emperor in reverse. Uh, nope. Look it. This is a uh, a. Uh, uh, a very authorized father figure. This could be a karmic father figure. This could be a masculine that is a father. Look how someone could, yeah, see how he's holding up his child. But this is someone that um, isn't a good father. They're not stable. They don't have the stability to be a father or this person could be a tyrant. Could be very authoritized. This could be like a boss figure or someone that's in a position of authority, but they abuse it. Who's this emperor? Aries energy, two pentacles. He's really juggling things right now. What? Who's this emperor? In reverse. Who's this emperor in reverse? Queen of Wands. This Emperor in Reverse is a Queen of Wands. A Leo. This is someone that is... Oh, this damn is this emperor, is this queen of wands losing control? Is this emperor in reverse wants to be with this queen of wands? Okay, so if you're a fire sign, or if you are, uh, like you have Leo in your chart, or you are, uh, like very confident, you know, the queen of wands is someone that is that creative person, right? It's like a creative person. There is a masculine energy that is, um, in your, he's, he's an emperor in reverse. Okay. 
he is really balancing a lot right now. He's trying to manage things, but he might want to juggle you. I ain't going to lie. This is a person that wants to Netflix and chill with you. Next, Netflix and chill. Sneak around friends with benefits, spending time with someone else. Juggling. This Emperor in Reverse. Who's this Emperor in Reverse? Dating. New love options. Back on the market. Ooh, I'm telling you right now, this is someone that wants to date you. Look at this emperor, but he's like not a good father figure. Like, I don't know why he's coming out in reverse. He could just be very like dominating, but yeah, he's back on the market. He's dating. He's going around Netflixing and chilling with people, juggling people. You're coming out as this Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords energy. He could be juggling a Queen of Wands. No, he's back on the market. Whoever this Emperor in reverse is, he's, he's dating now. New love options, back on the market. What's this Queen of Wands? A message. <laughs> Communication, conversation, expressing feelings. This, yeah, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> be prepared. A bottle on the message. This emperor in reverse is going to be messaging you, Queen of Wands. Okay? I don't know why he's coming out in reverse. Um, I don't know. But yes, he's, he's balancing things out. He's managing his life. He's juggling things. But he wants to be, you know, he wants to Netflix and chill with you. He's dating right now. I could tell you right now he's dating. So I don't know if you want to be with someone that's dating. I mean, new love options back on the market. You could be single and yes, be expecting this person to communicate with you. Why is he in reverse? Okay, let's see. What's influencing this two of pentacles? Sneaking around friends with benefits, spending time with someone else. This person could be really juggling a lot of different women right now like he could be inviting a lot of different women over to netflix and chill like i don't know or he could i don't know what's this two pentacles what's influence? he could be a manager or he's really good at this managing energy what's this uh two of pentacles what's this two of pentacles Ace of Wands in reverse to the world. Ace of Wands in reverse. This person is like blocking his opportunities because a cycle or a cycle has been closed. Opportunities no more. Like, I don't know. This emperor might that wants to communicate with you i don't know he's closing on a cycle he doesn't he's not feeling very hold on what's influencing this two of wands he could be closing on a cycle with someone that he's not even attracted to anymore like someone he's i don't know why he's coming out in reverse i really can't tell you he could be very violent maybe what's this two pentacles what's influencing this two pentacles what is he what's influencing it I just need one Holy Spirit Archangels, please, just one. Queen of Swords. Soulmates. Is this Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands energy the same person? Is this Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands energy the same person? So you're coming out as the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands collective. So you could be an air fire sign. But you're handling business right now. This, I'm, this is your energy. I knew it. So you're the one that just wants to sneak around with friends with benefits and spending time with someone else. I knew it. <laughs> 
I just didn't want to say it. Look, Queen of Swords, you are balancing your life out right now. You're managing your life, okay? You're using your brain. You're being very, you know, smart about how to, to be financially secure, okay? You're managing. Um, this is why you're in this energy where you're like, eh, I only, I have so much going on right now. Maybe we could just hang out and watch a movie. <laughs> Um, because you're, yeah, and, okay, what's influencing this emperor in reverse? Someone can't control this. What's influencing this emperor in reverse? What's influencing this emperor in reverse? And ace of cups! <laughs> and ace of cups! A new love option! Back on the market, dating! And ace of cups, look! Back on the market, dating, new love option, and this Emperor in Reverse, like, what's influencing this Emperor? Someone is like, yeah, is either someone is losing control because you are back on the date, you are loving yourself, you could be dating people, you're back on the market, you're inviting dudes over to come over and Netflix and chill, and this someone is, like, in your energy that's, like, they feel like they're losing control here, like, they can't, is the Queen of Swords gonna be, is my collective gonna be dating an Emperor in Reverse? No, you got a distorted mask in your energy. He knows that you're dating. You're Netflixing and chilling with people because you're managing shit. And, um, but, but, okay. Once you're out of this Queen of Swords energy and you tap into your Queen of Wands energy, that's when someone's going to be messaging you. Yes, you're very creative. Right now, you're in your Queen of Swords energy, balancing your finances. So you might not have the time to date or you're just, you know, wanting to chill with somebody. Um, the fact that some, like, you're loving yourself, that you have new love options. Uh, there's a someone, a uh, masculine here, is feeling very, like, out of control about it. He feels like he can't control the situation anymore. This person might want to communicate with you after but what's influencing this queen of wands what's influencing this queen of wands i've never seen it like this before the five of swords there's a man here in front of a beggar look at this And barbed wire. I've, I've never seen the five, the three. Yeah, look, this is the five of swords. Like a bully, someone very combative. Look how someone is begging and someone is like not helping this person, but they're like fenced in. Yeah, someone really wants to bully you. Is a bully going to message or express feelings to this Queen of Wands? Is this Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords two different people? So someone really wants to compete with you. Or they're competing for this Ace of Cups. Yeah. You got masculine's energies out here that there, there are people that want to compete for your Ace of Cups. Because now that you're back on the market and you're dating and you have love options. And these masculines are very combative. They're very, like, domineering, kind of authoritized. But someone feels like they need to message you, express the way they feel about you, 
to beat out the competition. Because this person is really attracted to you. They see you, even though you're in this queen of swords energy and you're just like handling business, this person sees you as the queen of wands. He is super attracted to you. Like really attracted to you. Ace of Cups. Someone wants to compete here for your Ace of Cups. Well, you're just too busy. Yeah, focus on yourself. You're like, yeah, someone might even, I don't know. I don't know. Collective, you do you, shit. You do you, girlfriend. <laughs> you want to Netflix and chill? If you're single, you can Netflix and chill. Why the fuck not? <laughs> you go and you go on with your bad self. But someone here wants to beat out the competition. But this person, I'm going to warn you, whoever this Five of Swords is, he could be very aggressive, very domineering. Like, he's all, oh, I know, I got to get the collective before anyone else. Like, she's mine. She's going to be mine. That difference is weird. Yeah, so what's going on? Um, What's going on in the in the 3D? What's going on in the 3D? It's going to be a long reading, but I, I'm going to make it long because I want to know about this soulmate. What's going on? Not in the 3D. What's going on in the subconscious? What's going on in the spiritual realm? The fool in reverse. Someone doesn't want to start a new journey with you or someone's thinking about not starting a new journey. Pisces energy. Someone's thinking about taking foolish action. Someone's thinking about how foolish they were. What's this fool? In reverse, what's this fool? Yes or no. Unsure. Choices. Contemplation. Decision. Yeah, someone is like, I am a damn fool. For being in this complicated, like, yes or no, unsure, choose, decide. Someone feels like that was a very foolish action about not choosing you. Someone's really thinking about this. How they shouldn't, like, how they didn't start a journey with you. How they didn't go on a journey with you. How they didn't take a leap of faith towards you. What it, What is this fool in reverse? Who is this? person thinking about this? Who's this person thinking about this? Who's this person thinking about this? A friend or someone that missed an opportunity for cups. This is someone that thought the grass is greener on the other side. Look how he's like, this is a, a, a someone that really missed an opportunity to be with you. And they feel very foolish or they're thinking about how dumb it was for them to be in this Yes or no, should I, should I not? There's indecision to not take a leap of faith. Now they're like in despair because they're they're lacking interest. They're, they knew they missed the opportunity. What's this for a cups? Egg on their face. A shame backfired, got caught. Who? This person feels like eggs are on their face. Why? Because... The fact that they were in this, yes or no, should I not, should I do, or I didn't. They didn't take this journey on you. For you. They didn't go. Someone is really thinking about how they didn't go on a journey with you. This person feels like a fool because they're in this complex, like, yes or no, I can't say it, contemplation energy, right? Should I do it? Should I not? I didn't do it. I thought the grass was going to be greener on the other side, but guess what? I was wrong. Egg on their face. Now they're feeling very, like, disinterested in everything. They feel shame. They feel everything's being backfired. They feel like they got caught doing something. Egg on their face. Like, someone feels like, like, you threw eggs on their face because they didn't go on a journey with you. Like, you're all, boom, guess what? Now look at me. Now that I'm Netflixing and chilling and dating with this person and dating that person, someone feels like you just threw eggs on their face they're like sitting there i thought the grass is going to be greener on the other side why did i not go on this journey with the collective that is too funny that is too oh, opposite tracks right Ooh, someone finds you attractive 
to quite yeah okay anyways let's keep going what's going on in this i heard someone talking outside i don't know if someone's walking by or someone's in the sneaking in the bushes that'd be weird huh loosening too many <laughs> i don't know why i'm thinking that i because I, I just heard someone talking So what is, um, what's going on in the, what's going on here in the 3D? What's going on here in the 3D? What is, what's someone thinking? What's this going on? What's actions? What's going on realistically? The two of cups. <laughs> Keep getting the two of cups. Is this in reverse though? I can't tell. Yeah, because, yeah, look, it's in reverse. Yeah, someone is breaking up with somebody. There's a breakup here. Or, yeah, someone is breaking up with somebody, or someone doesn't even want to be with someone. Whoever thought that the grass was going to be greener on the other side, or someone is really lacking interest here with another partner. What's this two of cups in reverse? Uh, two people or someone trying to keep two people. What's this two of cups in reverse? Unknown caller, stalking, hanging up, unknown numbers. Oh my God. Someone right now doesn't even want to be with someone, dude. Someone right now is going through a breakup and they're dealing with a bunch of unknown caller calling because they're being stalked. Someone could be like calling them and hanging up on them. And oh, yeah, something's crazy going on in a breakup right now. What's this to hang unknown caller, stalking, hanging up, unknown numbers? What's this two cups in reverse? What's this breakup? What's this two cups in reverse? What is this two of cups in reverse? A queen of cups in reverse. <laughs> this is a water sign, a cancer, or a Pisces. Look at queen of cups in reverse. This is a messy, messy person. This is, this is, this is a, no one wants to be with this bitch. Someone is breaking up with the queen of cups in reverse. Yeah, uh, someone that they thought that they feel like eggs are on their face. They're really lacking interest in this person. They're like contemplating about this queen of cups in reverse. Why? Because she's doing crazy shit, like stalking, hanging up, calling people. Like right now, someone is really not talking to a queen of cups in reverse. And she's acting like a fool. Like she is in her emotions. She's stalking, hanging up, being fucking weird. <laughs> She is weird. Now, if this isn't a water sign, this is just a crazy bitch. This is Queen of Cups in reverse. Who is she? Yeah. Someone is really, like, lacking interest on this person. And this person, yeah. They feel like, oh, someone's, like, embarrassed by this person. A bird. 1-1. One, one, twin flame. Runner. Chaser. Divine timing. This came out in reverse though. For some, yeah, no, I'm gonna. This is someone that was telling someone that they were the twin flames, but I knew it, dude. Ugh, that feeling came out. One, one, one. And I've been seeing one, one, one a lot too lately. Is this Queen of Cups someone's twin flame? You had a Queen of Cups that was keeping you. And a twin flame away from each other. This is again a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces. She was keep because that's what the two of cups really represents is keeping two people apart from each other. She, yeah, she, you have a, a Queen of Cups, a messy, messy, messy person that is keeping your twin flame, you and your twin flame apart from each other, and she is being a fucking weirdo. I don't know if she's calling you. If you're getting unknown callers, it's this Queen of Cups in reverse. 
Now, if your twin flame is getting unknown calls, someone hanging up and all that shit, it's this queen of cups in reverse. She is acting like a fucking weirdo because she wants to keep you and your twin flame apart from each other because your twin flame is lacking interest in this person. He also knows that he missed the opportunity because he didn't want to take a, a leap of faith towards you because he was contemplating too much. Now he feels like, you the eggs are on his face he feels ashamed and embarrassed <laughs> whoo yeah this is a long reading but i don't care i'm gonna keep going what happened in the past yeah this queen of cups in reverse she's really keeping you and your twin of flame apart from each other so if you want to know if you got unknown calls but or she's acting like a fucking weirdo what happened in the past what happened in the past? Give me past energy. Ace of Pentacles. You had a new offer, a new beginning of wealth, or there's a new beginning here. A new offer. An offer. What says Ace of Pentacles? An offer to do what? What says Ace of Pentacles? An offer. An offer was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Someone offers someone in something in the past and it caused a lot of confusion. Someone could have even bribed your twin flame. Like they could have been like, oh, I'll give you a better position. Like if this is someone like at a job, someone like say your boss is this queen of cups in reverse. She was like, oh, I'll offer you a better position. Or you know what? You got to go work over there and not with the collective. <laughs> Or someone bribed your twin flame just to cause a lot of manipulation and confusion. Unfinished business, proposal, forgiveness, reconciliation. Someone gave a proposal here. What's this seven of cups? What's this confusion? Intimacy, passion, coming to union, chemistry, missing you someone use into someone confuse someone by using intimacy and they there was unfinished unfinished business between you and another person but someone come in someone offered here someone offered intimacy between you and someone that there was unfinished business between you, the two of you yeah, this Queen of Cups went too far. This Queen of Cups in reverse, she's like trying to use sex, right? Coming into union, like you had unfinished business with someone here in a new beginning. You know, proposal, forgiveness. Like some of you guys should have been reunited with your twin flame. And this, this Queen of Cups came in with some type of intimacy just to confuse them. Someone could even, I said, like, use money and sex. Because they knew someone liked you. They knew someone wanted to be with you. Or you were with someone. Take it how it resonates for your situation. This Queen of Cups went too far. <laughs> What's going to happen here in the near future? She went too far to keep two people from each other. Like, too, too far. And now, this person doesn't want nothing to do with her. He's like, I don't want nothing to do with you, bitch. Quit calling me. And so she keeps calling him from unknown numbers. She's crazy. <laughs> Someone is seeing someone's true colors. I really feel like it. They're like, oh my God, what the fuck did I get myself into? Why did I not go on the, the journey with the collective, with the Queen of Wands, which he's going to be messaging you because he wants to beat out the competition for that Ace of Cups. But you're too busy in your Queen of Swords energy just doing you. <laughs> Working on your shit, dude. What's this going to happen here in the near future? What's going to happen here in the near future? Hold on. Just one, just one, just one, just one. What's gonna, give me near future. Okay, I'll take two. What is this? One, two, three. Three, four, eight of pentacles in reverse. Someone did not master something. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So someone, someone could, someone did not master ending you. Someone could not master betraying you. Someone did. Someone's not even expertise at trying to betray you. What the hell? Someone could not master at betraying you because you are healed. What's this eight of pentacles in reverse? Someone is looking very like they're not skillful. They're like they're not an expertise. Like they don't know what they're doing. Push and pull, power struggle, imbalance, uh, stubborn. Someone in the near future looks like a push and pull. Someone knows that it's just a power struggle with this person, that they ha they're they very imbalanced and that they're very stubborn, that they don't even know what the fuck they're talking about or what they're doing. And that they that a betrayal is going to be revealed, that all this person did was, wanted was to stab you in the back or they did stab you in the back. Playing mind games, immature, testing you analyzing you but guess what they couldn't do it they couldn't do it why it's a push and pull so because they're not smart they couldn't they try to master you but they couldn't they try to play some type of mind games with you but they couldn't because why the ten of uh, ten of swords in reverse because you, you're healed there's no more stabbing you in the back anymore because you're this queen of swords you know what the fuck is up when people are trying to play games with you and this queen of wands you're confident you know what you're doing you're creative you're smart this person looks like a dumbass trying to play mind games with you because you're like what there's no power struggle here this person is just imbalanced trying to test you but they can't because they're not even good they're not even smart they're not at your level at all like at all this person this queen of cups in reverse is nothing on your level she can't, there's nothing to compare. Trying to act all immature, playing push and pull. Looking like a damn idiot. What's the advice? Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this person can't compete with you no more. I told you the advice is that there's no comparison. There's no competition here. This, this person is not even remotely close to your energy, your level, your spiritual, yeah, your spiritual growth. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and guess what? It's going to be put to rest. So keep doing you because whatever you're doing, the fact that you don't feed into this competition, you don't feed into these mind games, it defeats this. It, it makes it better. Like, it makes you look better. Just say that. What's this five of wands in reverse? Yeah, the red flag signs cheating deception. Someone is not waving the red, the white flag. They're waving red flags. This person is cheating. Signs of cheating and deception. Someone is like, there's a warning here. Someone is doing everything possible to cause drama in your energy, but they really can't. It's just a warning, though. It's a warning sign for this person, too. Because something's being put to rest here. You're resting. Something is, you're gathering your thoughts. Or someone is like in this. Um, let's just let you let know. Someone is like, okay, pause. I'm gonna re I'm gonna reevaluate the situation. How else can I go after the collective? This is bitch is crazy. Fighting, trust issue, one-sided, detached. This person is reevaluating how can they fight with you more. So just warning you, this person is going to cheat, lie, do everything possible to still fucking fight with you. <laughs> this person is just going to look crazy. Whoever is this queen of cups in reverse, she is freaking crazy. How do people see this bitch? How do people see this bitch, this queen of cups in reverse? How do they see her? One, two, three, four. They see her as very stubborn, selfish self-absorb that she's hanging on to resources blocking resources how do people see this queen of cups in reverse people see that she's just a a selfish individual oh they also see that she's a compulsive liar that she, everything she says whoever this queen of cups in reverse people see her Nothing as a liar. That all she does is lie and cause confusion. And that she's trying to block your resources. Trying to hang on to resources that don't belong to her. Hold on, I can shut this window. Someone's outside.
or something. Maybe it's the trees or... I don't know. Do you ever get that feeling like someone... Anyways, I really feel like... Because I heard someone talking over there. But anyways. People see this Queen of Cups as a liar. A pathological liar. That everything that she comes out of her mouth is nothing but a lie. What's this Ace of Swords? What's this Ace of Swords? That she lies. She lied about a reconciliation, harmony, resolving issues, getting back together. <laughs> She's lying about getting back with someone. She's lying about being back with someone, dude. She's lying about it. She could be saying, oh, yeah, I mean, so we're back together. And it's so resolved. And we're resolving our issues. It's a lie. And everyone knows that she's lying about it. What's this? What is she hanging on to? What is this? She's All people say that she's trying to hang on to a masculine here. Secretive, sneaky, mystery, hiding information. She People know that. People see, this is what people see her as secretive, that she was secretly sneaky, hiding information, hanging on to, hanging on to someone, hanging on to resources, blocking resources. And everyone's saying, oh no, me and so-and-so are, we're resolving our issues. Everyone knows she's lying about it. <laughs> everyone knows. How do people see you? Let's do the comparison, considering she wants to compare herself to you. How do people see my collective, this Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords? How do people see the collective? Oh, yeah. People see this bitch as a liar. How does people see my collective, this Queen of Wands and Queen of, Queen of Swords? How do people see the collective? Uh, oh, you have a King of Wands that's watching you. <laughs> okay. How does people see... What? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this King of Wands in reverse sees that he made a bad investment. Because I got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Five of Cups in reverse. Someone really sees, oh, people see that you made a bad investment or that you like a king of wands could have stole money from you or that you lost a lot of money being with a king of wands someone that's really lustful but they see that you're getting over that that you're you're done crying over that bullshit because you're back on the market what's this king of wands yeah, someone sees that you were with some, everybody sees that you were with someone that was very selfish and flexible, a jackass, a donkey. Everyone sees that you were with a very stubborn, prideful king of wands and that this person was a bad investment or you could have lost money. You guys could have lost money together or he could have took an inheritance or planning, text, phone call, meeting up that this person was planning on taking your divine birthright. This person was literally making phone calls, meeting up with people to take an inheritance from you, wherever this king of wands. Everyone knows this, okay? Everyone knows that this happened to you. Or everyone around this king of wands knows this. And whoever this king of wands in reverse, everybody knows that this person was planning on trying to take an inheritance from you. And everyone sees that you don't even, you don't even care. You're not even bothered by this person. Yep. Because you, you are guided by faith, healing, and your intuition and your dreams. That's how you're getting over this. People see, they, people know that you are, you are guided. You're guided by your, your own intuition. And you knew, you knew that someone was trying to steal an inheritance from you. You could even said something about it. That's how everyone sees you. And that you don't even care about this King of Wands in reverse, whoever that person is. What's the hopes and fears? I'm sorry this is a long reading, but I was trying to get your guys' soulmate, but so, I don't know. It's not looking so good. What's someone's hopes and fears? What's the hopes and fears? Someone's hoping that they could 
they could get help or someone's hoping that they could find knight of wands like they could be a warrior that they could help someone here or they could go on an adventure someone's hoping that they could or they're afraid you're doing that what's this knight of wands hold on i don't like when they fall on the floor because then they flip around page of swords in reverse Someone's hoping that their slander and their gossip and their lies and their stalking and their pettiness will stop you from literally going on a newfound adventure. Infatuated, denial, obsession, attraction. This person is infatuated with you. Infatuated with your what you got going on. <laughs> Infatuation. What's this nine of wands? Someone is in denial that they're obsessed with you. Some of these, someone could be attracted to you, but they're infatuated with you. Conflict resolution, compromising, making amends. A positive outcome because they know that you are helping yourself or someone is going to come and help you conflict right a conflict resolution someone that's going to help you compromise someone wants to make amends it's going to have a positive outcome someone knows this someone is infatuated uh, in denial obsessing over who's going to come and help you solve your problems that is crazy that is crazy. This Queen of Cups in reverse is fucking out of her mind. It's that Queen of Cups in reverse, that Cancer, that Pisces, that water sign, that messy woman who is obsessed. Who Who's helping the collective? Who Who's helping them solve their problems? Huh? I want to know. That's why I could talk shit about them. Fucking crazy bitch. Get out of here. What's going to be the next step? <laughs> What's going to be the next step? It's gonna be the next overall crazy fucking bitch dude you're gonna still have victory and success <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight someone is trapped is that eight one two three four five six seven eight someone is trapped someone is mentally trapped in their head because you have victory and success what's this eight of swords energy who someone could be going to jail look there's handcuffs someone lost their freedom lost their newfound freedom someone is going to jail someone's handcuffed here someone is trapped bye bye butterflies someone lost their newfound freedom what is this this is someone that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Someone is really trapped here, dude. Eight of one, eight of swords to the nine of swords, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Someone is really mentally trapped in their head. Like, I can't even someone feels Someone could be going to jail. Someone could be sitting in jail like this in the corner of the jail cell, like like not getting enough rest, thinking about all the backstabbing, back shit that they've done in their life. Eight to the nine. Yeah, someone is really fucked in the head right here. What's this eight to the nine of swords? Aquarius, Gemini energy. Why are they trapped? Why are they trapped? Because guess what? They couldn't trap you. The devil, Capricorn energy. This could be a Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini. Someone knows, knows, knows they're fucking with the devil. They're being seen as the devil. Someone knows that they were on devil time. Someone knows that you're not addicted, that you're not, you're, you have no bounds to anything that is toxic. And this has someone really fucking trapped in a situation. Like, say if someone was saying that you were a druggie, that you were toxic, that you were a devil worshiper, that person knows that they, like, what they said is not true. And now they're like, 
fuck? What do they do about it? What's this devil in reverse? A contract is being broke here. Justice in reverse. Someone did something, yeah, some illegal. Something is unfair and they're heartbroken. Ooh, someone is fucked here. So the next step is someone is trapped knowing that you, someone is trapped here being seen as the devil because of all the injustice, a Libra, Capricorn energy, Aquarius again, or uh, not Aquarius. Um, is it Libra? Yeah, no, Libra, heavy on the Libra energy. Air signs here. Someone actually really did something. Someone actually might be going to jail for the things that they did illegally. I can't even look at Ace. Look at someone knows they're trapped. Okay, they have no found freedom, no go. They are stuck. They're they're trapped to something. This has someone stressed out. They are thinking about all the things that they said about you. Someone knows, someone knows that they were being toxic. And now that they're trapped, they can't behave this like this anymore. Someone knows like if they were being obsessive, controlling, toxic in your energy, they can't do this anymore. They know this now. They know it's game over. It's done. They know all the things that they caused, all the illegal, unfair, unbalanced, they're getting just that. Yeah, they're going to get some kind of karmic karma here. And they are fucking sad about it. They are so sad about it. And guess what? You get to walk away with victory and success. What's this victory and success? You get to, you have a public, you have a public win here. What's this six of, of wands? And guess what? People are very... One, two, three. Yeah. People from your past that were haters. You get to walk away. You get to walk away. You get to walk away, dude. People look at you have nothing but success. You get you have victory and success, and everyone sees it. All your haters see it. Everyone that had anything bad to say about your past, guess what? You get to turn your back and you're walking away free with nothing but success. What's this A6 of Wands again? What's the success? What are they winning? What are they winning? You're winning the sun. Someone, you're the fact you're exposing someone, the sun in reverse, you're winning an exposure. You're winning something that's going to expose these, these past actions that were against you. What's the six of cups? What's this past? Page of cups, Pisces energy. Again, you're exposing, uh, the, it's the fact that you're going to be seen as innocent. That you are innocent. That you are a child of God. That you're very sensitive. You're very intuitive. Someone could really secretly adore you as well because of this. Your success is going to expose those. Those from the, in your past that did a lot. And guess what? Now that you get to walk away, it's done. The cycle's been complete. You are achieving your destinies here. You are rising up to the occasion, using your intuition, your psychic abilities, and the fact that you are ex your success will expose all those that said that you couldn't do anything in your past. Like anyone in your past that said that you couldn't achieve anything, they're gonna be so wrong, so wrong, because you're rising up to the. You're rising up to the occasion. You're rising up to your destiny. You're, yeah, look, you get to walk away from all these haters, turning your back on all of them. 
that's the next step what's this energy right here what's this person that's mentally trapped in their head because they know that they can't be obsessed over you and they can't pop up surprise visit reaching out in a person someone might actually pop up and give you a surprising visit reaching out in person whoever this person is this person hit rock bottom karma jail legal issue life falling apart i told you this person that's reaching rock bottom that's probably going to jail or they're all in going to jail look at karma it, their karma is to go to jail this person now wants to pop up and revisit in your energy life is falling apart for this person this person be going through a breakup drama scandal truth coming out and they are controversy they're going to be telling you about the truth nothing but the truth determined persistent still holding on flowers gift this person is going to be able to tell you about a, contro a controversy they are very persistent still holding on wanting to give you flowers and gifts and they're going to be telling you about a controversy and you're going to actually be get get be, actually probably get something out of this what's this energy over here this walking away with success from the haters does that say deuces fed up cutting ties walking away yep look at deuces fed up cutting ties walking away with success rising up to your destiny deuces deuces to all the toxic lovers the drama the addiction the love hate relationships that will never happen again cold shoulders breakup distance separation from all those haters that wanted to doubt you anyone that gave you the cold shoulders guess what deuces people that were hiding feeling guilty no, no communication doesn't matter you're exposing them people that want to avoid your success will expose those and now people are being crying depressed pain sorrow hurting because you have this success right here and that's your innocent distraction temptation always busy keep you waiting yeah someone was really childish here someone used very someone was very immature look at distraction using temptation always busy kept you waiting someone yeah someone could have been fucking around with horrors and shit like that someone could be into nasty women that wanted to give you cold shoulders but guess what deuces motherfucker who cares about this toxic lover who's on drugs or whatever that's with these nasty women that was so easy to be tempted who wanted to give you the cold shoulders your success will expose if he's trying to hide and now he's nothing but going to be crying over you because you're going to have nothing but public recognition. Or the whores that he slept with, they're going to be crying because they know that that dude, is gonna, he's missing the opportunity of a lifetime because you are reaching your goals, your success, your achieving, and this someone's getting thrown in jail here. These people are falling fucking apart while you're raise, rising up to the occasion. Anyways, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. That was a long one. Sorry, guys.